Hey, Crazy Will here today. Today we're going to be talking about how to make your dumb fan smart with Bond. Stay tuned. Crazy Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Um, I just want to take this time out to wish everybody, I hope they had a very Merry Christmas. And we're coming up to New Year, so Happy New Year to everybody. Thank you, subscribers, for subscribing. And a thank you for the comments, guys. I really like the comments, and I really like to try and interact with you guys and figure out what you're looking for or if the products that I'm recommending to you are really worth it for you. Um, I really appreciate it. I want to thank the people that have been posting down there. You guys are awesome. Now, you might be wondering, why are you standing in your living room if you didn't know it was my living room. This is the living room. Well, today the wife and the mother-in-law went out shopping. So the wife's not at home, so I commandeered the living room to talk about that up there. The last piece to my puzzle for my smart home, my ceiling fan. Now, I've gone through extreme measures to try and get my ceiling fan working. For over a year now, every room I have is smart, except for the living room, which has been really, really, really frustrating for me. I've even gone to extremes programming a Raspberry Pi with an RF receiver and sender. I mean, programming for six weeks, learned how to do this, bought extra parts, spent quite a bit of money trying to get this to work. Now, for the last six months, I've been following a company, a company called Bond, Bond Home. And I even put in to try and be a tester because they make a product, this product right here, that controls a ceiling fan that has a remote. If you have a remote, an RF remote, it will control your ceiling fan. Now, when I say it'll control it, you actually program their little mini RF receiver that comes in this box right here to be able to communicate to your fan. Not only will it control the light, but it'll also control the fan speed, which is awesome. So now, not only can I control it from my phone, which I'm going to show you, but you can also control it from Alexa. So I've been trying to make this ceiling fan work for over a year. And this little device called Bond Home that works with Alexa actually filled in the gaps for me. Now this goes for around $100. You can catch it on sale. I caught it on sale for $79.99. Not a bad price. It's a little high up there, but for the functionality and the aggravation that I've went through, it's it's almost well worth it. And they're, they're, they are expanding. They're not only going to be doing ceiling fans, they're eventually going to be doing garage door openers, remote controlled AC units, smoke detectors, and other devices. And I'll show you more of that in the app because they say it's coming soon. But right now, for the time of making this video, it only works for a ceiling fan, which is still pretty cool. This is the size of Bond. Now what came in the box was this device, a plug, and a wire to connect it. And you can just see, this is the device right there. I'll just do a little quick spin. It's got a little rubber bottom on the bottom there. There you go. That's Bond. Now this device works primarily on radio frequencies. I reference as RF, and I'm sorry if I said that in the video and wasn't clear, but it works on radio frequencies. Basically what's going on here is you program the Bond by pointing your remote control to it, and you set it up in the app, and I'm going to show you that, and when you point it, you hit, hit a button and hold it. It automatically figures out what all the radio frequencies are and maps your remote in an app, which I'm going to show you. But first, let me show you how it works with Alexa. Okay, and this is why I got a nice wide open shot. I got my bond here, I got my echo over there, which you can't see in the shot, and then I have my ceiling fan. Now, real quick, all I'm going to do is say, Alexa, turn on the living room lights. Okay. Beautiful. So excited about that. Alexa, turn the living room fan to level four. And there you go. I mean, how cool is that? That it's, I'm just able to speak to my Echo Dot and just tell it what I want. And it's able to do it. So it has all the functionality to be able to say whatever level I wanted to. I could turn it high, I could turn it low. As you can see, it's spinning in the background. The light is on. I can say, Alexa, turn off the living room light. Okay. I can also say, Alexa, Turn off the living room fan. Okay. And there it goes, it's stopping. 
So what a great function, what a great value. Um, the only thing that I've noticed is it does not communicate well enough to the Echo Dot to know if it's actually on or if it's actually off. And I've noticed this during routines. Basically, like if you give it a routine, you know, turn off all lights, if the light's already on, it still sends a signal and then turns it on. It's just, it's like a basic radio frequency. And I have noticed that that is a hole in the system. It sends out the same radio frequency. And I, I don't know if that's more the fan or if it's more bond. I know the Echo is doing her job correctly. I think it's between the fan and the bond. Either the bond doesn't know that it turned it on or it turned it off. Um, it's probably just shooting, it's probably one radio frequency for the on and off. And I think that the bond should be knowing if it's on or off, but it's not. So I don't know if that's something they can do to keep track. Hey, is it on? Is it off? To try and, I just think that's something that you could do in the app. And you know, I kind of feel like Bond dropped the ball on that one. So, you know, that's my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. Okay, so showed you the Bond. Let's take a look at the app, shall we? So we're gonna uh, launch the Bond app, which is right there. Okay, once the Bond app launches, this is it right here. Um, that's the living room fan, that's the device. If you need to add a device, let me just show you that first, how to add a device. So you click on that add button, and then you can pick which one you want. Right now, as you can see, they, you know, they have a lot of products ready to go. You know, doorbells, fire extinguishers, blinds, motorized windows, all kinds of stuff. Right now, the only thing you can pick is ceiling fan. And what you do is you click on ceiling fan, hit next, and once you go to next, you pick which button you'd want to use to make it work that you'd hold down on. You'd hold on on the button and make it work. So we'll hit the on switch and then you just follow these directions right here and then it'll eventually turn green once you hold down on the button and then you activated your device and it'll come up and tell you. So I'm gonna stop from there because we're not syncing anything. So now the fan's connected. It's got all the RF sensors, and if you click on the fan, this is the living room fan. This is the exact remote. There's one thing missing from this remote, and I left it out because I don't really use it, but if I wanted to add it, I could. But you could power it on, you could power it off, you could turn on the lights. See, I'll just turn on the light right there, and bam, the light turns on. The only thing that I have beef with this is that, you know, it doesn't give you feedback on what's going on. So I'm going to edit. You can edit the buttons. You can delete them there and hit done. Or you can add a button. And th these are the buttons that aren't there, and they're actually on my remote. So it knows I could, you know, put it for a timer for an hour, two hours, eight hours. You could do random. But I'm going to hit done here. And then, you know, this is basically the app. I mean, there's nothing else really I could show you on this app. And that's, you know, it's kind of one of its cons. It's also one of its pros. It's just, it's hard to... To decide but if we go right here you can do schedules um, I can make an event I could set an event schedule and you know when the device on you know it's it's like all the other devices that I've showed you you know it has a start time end time um, and I will be using that for uh, when we go on vacation I like to have that showing so that way it looks like we're still here but anyway that's basically app. Yeah, you go back and hopefully, like I said, you know, that's the biggest con for me it was that this device doesn't have anything else available, just the fan, but it works great and I gotta give it to them. So that's basically the app. Now let's talk about pros and cons, shall we? Pros, it works with Amazon Echo and Google Home. Those are the two products that I saw listed on their website, so it definitely works with those, which is great, so you have the voice capability. It works with smartphones. It is cross-platform compatible with Android and iOS. This device was actually really easy, super easy to set up. It was the same concept as it was before. You connect to the Wi-Fi of the device, you tell it which Wi-Fi you wanna work with, and then you took the remote and you point and click. Programs the uh, remote straight into the device, which was really, I gotta say, it was really pretty simple. I was up and running within like 10 minutes between unpackaging it, putting it all down, and you know, getting my remote and hooking it up and putting the app and signing in. You know, it's probably about 10, 15 minutes. It was really pretty quick process. If you have a remote control ceiling fan, 
You do not have to replace your ceiling fan. And I don't know if you guys looked online, but these ceiling fans go for, you know, ridiculous amounts of money if they're smart. I mean, I think the cheapest I've seen them for is like 600 bucks. And that's right now. I know that's eventually going to come down. But for the fact of the matter is if you could just get a remote control fan for a room or you don't want to wire something in, this is a really easy, inexpensive way to do it. Another pro about this device is it's using radio frequencies, which is really, really cool and really, really key. And I don't know if you noticed this, but if you have multiple ceiling fans in your room, you can take those controls and go into other rooms and use your ceiling fan to turn on and off. You could do the same thing with the bond. It actually covers, I believe, about 500 feet. Um, and don't quote me on that, but I will check it and I will put it right down. Cons. The biggest con for me was it does not tell the Echo, or if you have Google Home, it doesn't tell you the state of what the device is in. So if you ask it a command and it's already doing it, it'll actually turn it off. Like for example, if I tell it to turn off the light and the light's already off, it'll turn it on. That was my biggest beef. It should have something to check it. I mean, that's a big kick down for them. Um, like I said, I don't know if it's the fan itself because it's only one button turn on and off the light so I'm thinking it's only one radio frequency that turns it on and off. Regardless it should kind of know which way uh, is on and which way is off. I think there's a way to program it. You know I'm not a programmer. I've tried my hand at it. I mean I showed you that Raspberry Pi that was a disaster but like I said just putting that out there. Another con that was really bad for me is it only works with ceiling fans right now, which is kind of disappointing. And, and I get it, they're a new company, they're starting out, but only to have ceiling fans, you know, I, and it shows that it's coming for other stuff. It's just, you know, and it does have that expandability, but at the price point that it is right now, you would think that they would have uh, something else, you know, pretty much anything radio frequency, remote controlled, like, you know, your AC unit or something in that aspect. Another big con for me, and I don't know if you guys have seen this, they make RF plugs. Um, they're really inexpensive. You can buy them on Amazon. Pretty much it's just a radio frequency plug to turn on and off. I do not see this in the mix for this device, nor do I see it in the future of this device. I don't know if they're just not getting into that, but it'd be nice instead of buying smart plugs, that if you bought a unit like this and it would add more value to it, that they would use RF plugs to actually control devices to turn them on and off, you know, those, those plugs, those RF plugs, to be able to control the devices with those. But they didn't even have it in the list. I don't know if it's something they're thinking about, but it was not in the list and it did not have anything coming soon. And I think that's a big foul on their part because this could be an all-in-one home kit kind of setup, you know, like a smart home setup. Another big con for me was the price point. Um, $100 is pretty steep for a smart device, uh, you know, considering that you can get Echo Dots for 30 bucks, you know, and, and I get it, it's, it's, it's this new company and they're, they're starting up, but the price point was just kind of high for me. I feel like this should have been a $50 item, not a $100 item. But like I said, who am I to judge? I don't program, I don't know. I bought it, I got it on sale for $79.99. It's not bad, right now it only does fans, but this was a big missing piece of the puzzle for me, so I, I'm not knocking them in that aspect. And the only other con that I had against this uh, device is, I don't know if you can see it in the back there, but the ring. The ring is blue and it's always on, and I don't mind it during the day, but sometimes I actually sleep in that recliner. You know, if you have indigestion, you ate too many wings or something. I sleep in that chair and the damn ring is so bright that it just it kind of keeps me up. And I wish there was a way, you know, to either put it on a timer and turn it off or, you know, it only comes on when it's being used. You know, to have a big bright ring light in the middle of the night while you're trying to sleep is kind of frustrating and, you know, it's a little annoying. Uh, I'm going to give this a strong four. Um, the biggest reason. You know, the functionality and the price was really what knocked it down a peg. Um, overall, I would highly recommend it. I mean, you know, if you want to control multiple ceiling fans, really highly recommend it. Um, I have tested it in other rooms and it worked great. I can put this basically anywhere and the radio frequency gets through. So, I, but I have a small house. That's it for Crazy Will. I hope you like and subscribe. I really appreciate the ones that are doing it. And remember, you can do anything you put your mind to.
Later, guys. You thought I was a picture, didn't you? Make sure you like and subscribe. Do me a favor already.